the main structure of any research paper should be first of all title and affiliations second abstract and keywords third introduction fourth literature review fifth methodology and experimentation sixth results and discussion seventh conclusions and eighth is references title part is the most can say the important part of the research paper where we should follow limited to 8 to 15 words it should be relevant to the subject it should be in a single phrase it should be a correct grammar and proper capitalization and it should avoid abbreviations in affiliations part mentions the corresponding author like uh, below title we will mention author and co-author name here we can use superstitious below this mention name and post it is not necessary in all type of research paper here we should maintain the sentence relations the next is abstract in abstract we can change all according to demand don't use the references in abstract we cannot use the tables or figures or charts also and don't use the abbreviations we should mention importance of introduction in abstract and also introduce the introduction we should mention the methods we are using and also mention results implications next is keywords according to the research put keywords four to eight words it can vary well how to write an effective research paper introduction we are discussing establishes the foundation of your research paper readers rules set in the introduction apply to all parts of your paper what exactly the purpose of the introduction is first should be the introduction introduction contents should lead reader to the discussion section it's all about the story the introduction includes two major questions first one why was this study needs a fill in the gap in the scientific knowledge and the second why does this gap need filling the flow of objectives identity the knowledge gap and then explain why it needs to be filled and then summarize how this study attempt to fill that gap the introduction content is the most important part of the research paper introduction content includes brief background information about research topic and reason for filling the gap and the key references to closely related related papers and clarification of terms definitions or abbreviations and review of pertinent literature in background information step one first of all so what is already known step two so the gap in knowledge highlight areas of too little available information first of all write the introduction then materials and the method then show the results and then 
discussions and then conclusions introduction writing tips i am going to give you some guidelines first write in the active voice when possible second write concise sentences third use stronger verbs when possible fourth don't overuse first person pronoun like i we and last organize your thoughts from broad to specific Jesus, the first and foremost thing that you must understand here is to follow a universal format understand guys phd thesis is very different from creative writing it's academic writing where there's a set format that you must adhere to if you don't follow that format then there are good chances that your thesis would be rejected so unless unlike a creative writing where you make your imagination go wild and you can write anything anywhere without following any set format in case of a phd thesis there's a universally accepted format and in the same format you need to draft your phd thesis to declare that you have worked in this thesis yourself you have not copied it you have not uh, got yourself involved in any illegal or unauthorized practices then after the declaration page is the certificate page a certificate which you get from the university site uh, and a certificate which is given to you by the guide telling that you have done this phd under this guide and you have done it to the best of your knowledge after the a certificate page you have another page attached now this page is important because this page contains abstract now what is abstract abstract is basically a summary okay of your phd we would not specifically say it's a summary we would say it's basically an introduction which is going to tell other scholars what your phd is all about if you've gone to the websites like research gate or shodh ganga you must have figured out that they have this abstract and just below the abstract they have all the download links for the phd thesis only after reading the abstract you can understand whether you would like to actually read a 250 page phd thesis or not so just like if you go to a bookstore you have a habit of looking at the back side uh, summary of the book in the similar fashion the back side summary synopsis is the abstract in case of a phd thesis important page which we know as acknowledgement now what is acknowledgement acknowledgement is another page which you attach in your phd thesis uh, which talks about uh, the uh, people who have helped you in this uh, particular phd thesis and you're just giving a a token of thanks to all those people who have helped you in your thesis finally you have the index these things would be included in the conclusion chapter conclusion chapter doesn't means picking up few lines from each chapter and summarizing it that is not what conclusion means also remember in all these chapters you should also have introduction and conclusion in the introduction area you're going to talk about what you're going to deal in the entire chapter okay and finally in the conclusion you're going to uh, talk about all the findings or all the major interpretation that you devised so this is how a perfect research a plan should be made this is how a perfect research a plan should be made and this is how chapterization should move forward now that you have made the main body of thesis you come to the end of your research where you would include two things the first one is bibliography and second is appendix now what is bibliography in my past video where i was talking about how to write a research proposal In this video I have put it the snapshot of format of various type of thesis proposals so enjoy it thank you please like and subscribe and share love to learn be
technical for more videos.